Welcome back to Let's Play Just Cause 2. I'm Hunter Black Luna. We got a lot of Eular boys. Well. Hmm. Pulling a Jeremy. That one doesn't look too hard. Well, I might do both of these things, and we're definitely going to meander around to the Rebars to get our final stronghold, it looks like. Doesn't look like there will be any more. And we finished this facility, so there's no reason really to stick around. Ready and serving. What do you need? Hmm. You know what? 13 weapon parts. You know, just drop me an assault rifle. It's fine. I'll pay the cost to have it now. Try not to break it now! Whoa! Hell! Who am I trying to fool? It's weird. This is happening in sort of real time, but at the same time it's not. Because if you get a drop, like... Pop on board. And you're being shot That'll at... Come in handy. You don't die. Yeah, I'll leave the bazooka only has three rockets in it. I failed to find a hobo. Uh, just gonna have to live with my failure here, guys. I don't know. Let's move along the road until we can find a good civilian vehicle to poach. Well. This looks like a pretty big place, all things considered. At least on the map. Probably worth checking out at least a little bit since I don't foresee coming here again. Ah, uh, Panawan government goons. Let's see, there we go. And upgrades, whoa bam. Smooth, Rico. Always the smooth operator. Only 9% done. Alright, there's more upgrades somewhere, so let's see if we can find... It's not that way. Is it near? Oh. Warmer, warmer, warmer. That must be pretty far away. That must be a big building. What is this place anyway? Just some random factory? Well, there's some targets over here, but I probably won't bother with them very frankly there's some upgrade parts uh 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 once I see the flashing that's pretty much it I've got it cash dash our total earnings are uh, 10 million looks like I'll tell you I'm certainly happy about that I'm not seeing very many actual vehicles, unfortunately. Oh, hello. Just hey, as I complain bucket. about a problem, it stops being a problem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you run away. That's what you get for being foreign. Ah, uh, I love my job sometimes. Actually, most of the time... Ah, that's the good stuff. Oh, but they just calmly stop. Is there any trouble we can stir? Hello, I see it gleaming from here. Well, well, oh my. I hear a battle somewhere, but it... Eh, I don't care. By the way, just as an aside, live commentary is probably easier than post commentary, at least for me. You wanna know why? Well, first of all, uh, post commentary feels like I have to be so much wittier because otherwise you know why bother when I just put up the gameplay if I'm commentating as I'm playing like this then I can be forgiven for just forgetting crap and trailing off and doing things in normal human speech like a lot and just talking about what I'm doing and stuff that in normal like post commentary it's bad form to do a lot of this stuff 
But here, you'll probably forgive me because I'm trying to play the game and I'm trying to fucking win. Sometimes it ain't that easy, even though this is EG Moto. So what I'm trying to say is, I'm taking the coward's way out by choosing the easier options so it's harder to be seen as a failure or boring. Alright, there's an upgrade part here somewhere. But my official patience has, in fact, run out. Don't care, don't care, so don't care. Get him! This is a big old village, though. Now, see? Screw that upgrade. Doesn't even matter. I'll win the game regardless. I, Kawan. I need you to run a little errand for me, Scorpio. You must meet up with one of our government informers. His Achilles heel is his drug habit, so you won't have any problems. Meet up with him and see what he has to say. Okay. I love the look on Rico's face sometimes when he's so disgusted at what he's doing. He should be. Oh, Scorpio. The informer is pretty cautious, so he will ask you about the weather. No matter what he says, you have to answer by saying, it makes me feel alive. Got that? And don't go talking to anybody else now. What are you, my mom? There's some mental images. Ah, uh, well, if I have to have my choice of vehicle... Yeah... Hey, it's pretty you? clear what I've got to choose, you? everybody. He's right there. Ha! I could even use this to get make our getaway with the informant. Even though this would probably just get him shot up because this thing provides no cover. Aside from the fact that it is not stationary. Oh, balls to this thing. I stole a tuk-tuk and it was all for nothing. Or was it? No, no, no. Distances in this game are a little screwy to me. I don't know. Maybe they're perfectly accurate to real life. This thing certainly has a larger scale than a lot of- Like the weather, mister? It makes me feel alive. Don't let our informer step into trouble. Get him to the safe house! Oh, he looks like a government goon. That makes sense. My god, what are we even doing in the- They're onto me! Get me out of here! Don't worry, you just- Oh, you it! We have reports of violence, sir! Report to location! Oh, goodness. Where's the informant? Come on, dude. Get in, get in, get in. Genius. Okay, I accept some responsibility, but this vehicle isn't a friggin' paragon of engineering. Now that we're moving, things should be a little... Man, I'm just... Ha <laughs> ha! Gotta admit, anything I do can't be as fucked up as... Oh my god. Whoa! Too close for comfort. Oh my god. Well, if we're already on to us, why not a jeep? Well, because it doesn't have a gun turret. It will give him slightly better cover against the... The gunfire. Curse your eyes, you child of a whore! This is not pleasing me at all! Uh... All right. Okay, we're gonna blame this one on the uh, the game, everybody. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? Oh, it's fine, ever. Dude just vanished. He still had half his health. I didn't run him over. Whatever. Maybe this time we can do things right. Yeah. Or at least less oh, wrong. Scorpio. <laughs> the informer is pretty cautious, so he will ask you about the weather. No matter what he says. You have to answer by saying, it makes me feel alive. Got that? And don't go talking to anybody else now. Alright. Hey, comes the cavalry ha. Oh! Ah. Reports of Like the weather, mister? It makes me feel alive. Don't let our informer step into trouble. Get him to the safe house. Fuck you, They're game. Get me out of here! No problem, man. 
Now that I know- Alright, I'm just gonna drive fucking cautious as shit. So that there's no chance of me accidentally upending us. Yeah, the informant's gonna get shot up, but he's on a frickin' 50 cal. I'm hoping he does better than the random dudes with their sidearms. Also, this car's slightly hard to... drive just because I can't friggin' see. The guy and his health bar, and just the vehicle is all set up. Don't, 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 don't let them get me! Don't worry, man. You're... You're as safe as a lamb. Considering that past failure didn't happen, like that massacre on Novaria, that yeah, never happened. Good thing I can use my Time Lord powers to erase failures. We should be okay. Oh, it's giving me a minor headache trying to drive this piece of shit. Well, not... It's tough. It makes me squint. I pretty much have to move the camera up like this. Not even gonna look back at what's chasing us, because it's probably all of Hell's Legions. Oh, motorcycle troopers. You're so brave and you're so stupid. Guys. No problem. Victory is mine. You know what? I'm gonna take advantage of all these Eulars. Here. Hop on the mounted gun, man. Hit them up if they come over. That's a nice car. So anyway, good job, everybody. Let's take our leave while the government is busy fighting. You know, if they're onto us anyway, it doesn't matter much if we do that now, does it? We will allow the Ulars to handle the government. Usually the rebels are severely outnumbered, so they tend to get raped. But this time it'll probably be the reverse, and I'm cool with that. As soon as the heat is off, we can call ourselves a nice juicy extraction. There we go. Oh, I was expecting a more spectacular landing. Whatever, let's get out of here before they wise up. How can I help you? Which right? admittedly, usually isn't for a uh, very long time. But sometimes the game just decides time to die, bitch, in there. And then it's time for you to die. Oh. Panout Falls Casino. Were we really that close? And I never even looked over and saw it. look over and see if we can see the casino. Alright, Pano Falls Casino, yep, there it is. I'll have to go skydiving off that sometime. In any event, I have airdropped to the wrong place to talk to the roaches. Another day of failures, guys? I don't know, I completed the mission. Whatever else you say about it. We are in for a little bit of driving though, guys. Ham. Perfection, Rico. There was nothing about that landing that could have been improved. I mean, just surviving that is miraculous. Anything more than that is nitpicking. Oh. Oh yeah, I'm a friggin' genius. Whatever. Enjoy the Panawan countryside, everybody. Enjoy the hell out of it. See, in this vehicle, I don't fuck up as much. But then the quests give you vehicles that are tough to drive. And also, I'm incompetent. I'll accept at least half of all net blame for my incompetence. But I will happily assign the other half to the game. That is my Let's Player's prerogative. That is to say, the computer's oh, cheating, Bob! And I get to say that. Whoa. Whoa. Now see, on the other hand, that was me. And that recovery was me as well. Ha! 
<laughs> I can't believe I haven't been here before. Maybe this is another one of the billion bridges in the universe. Upgrade. Max health. Oh yeah. Max health is the good stuff. I'm glad I stopped. So I guess it was fortunate that we came this way. Not looking good for this car, particularly. Oh well, we'll only need him for a couple more kilometers. Then we'll be good. You know, a boat would be quicker. And possibly more interesting. But we probably won't see another port until we're there because that's how it works I'm not a superstitious person or at least I don't think I am as a general rule well, there are exceptions but I do make a lot of those kind of jokes like oh what a nice day watch me get hit by a rocket or something I'll say that constantly Alright, there's a yellow thing, which means there's a government pig dog somewhere. Ah, oh, there they are. I thought if it was a motorcycle trooper that I might have a little fun. You look at that. Isn't even a spectacular crash, it's just... Relax, you got off light compared to other random Pinal citizens who have had interactions with me in the past. Let me tell you. That was close. Nice upgrade, just sitting out in the open. You'd think someone would check out these massive stashes of US dollars and... Yeah, now the car alarm goes off. I also find that infinitely amusing when it happens. And back onto the road we go, everybody. Or... Near the road, it is a decent approximation of the road although sometimes that happens as a result let's see yeah we turn here rebel hideaway should be over there somewhere okay that was kind of cool and spectacular physics what's that yep I remember pulling in here, what? Episode friggin' three? Oh, the memories. Back in a more innocent time. Hey guys. How's it been going? How's that, you know, communism thing? Good? Good working out, everyone? Everyone sharing? Yeah? 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 I'm thinking of doing a full-on uh, Stewie impersonation, but I'm not a massive Family Guy fan. Sometimes it does make me laugh, but that's all it's good for, the brief like, momentary chuckle that it can get. And hey, that's fine, some episodes are really funny. Ammunition. Come on, my ammo is, my aim is way better than you guys. Oh, wow. I'd love to see the government pig dog come here and try to fight us. Really, really bad idea. Although, it's kind of cool to watch that unfold. Enemy reinforcements. Better get on that mounted gun. Better rock and roll. Oh, yeah. You like that shit? Oh, you don't like it very much, do you? That's what you get for bugging me. You guys can handle the rest of this crap on your own. Now you're gonna be sorry. Get my hotkeys. You guys can handle the rest on your own. Uh, good job. Oh, it's good. Thanks for the compliment. Yeah, 
in the innuendo. Constantly. There is a filthy chemical research factory in the marshes of the Rajang River Delta. In this facility, the government pigs fabricate all sorts of chemical weaponry, while the hazardous waste is pumped right into the river. This angers me. That chemical arsenal would be better used in the service of the oppressed people. Help us capture this facility, sweet comrade, so it can stir up the revolutionary flames. You know, before this game, I've never had someone come on to me entirely using communist boilerplate. Ah, new experiences, I guess. You must keep me protected until we get to the far side of the facility. There, the I will hack into override their system the control codes. and override the control codes. We attack! And Scorpio, you must keep me alive at all cost! But if I die, the mission's attack, over too, Scorpio. so... Attack! Attack! Oh. Oh! Rocket home! Come here. We can't get through! Scorpio! Oh! See if you can find a way to stop the entrance from within! Oh, you're so dead. Your ass was beyond dead when you angered me, even though that was mildly entertaining. give them all the business. Well, at least they're taking cover like intelligent people. I can't really fault them for that, even if they aren't helping me as a result. Alright, bitch. First of all, you die. There we go. And we get our second pinata kill, which is actually kind of difficult to pull off because of the way this game handles physics. Is that an assault rifle? Yes it is. Well then I think we have a solution to one of our problems everybody. Oh yeah. Gotta love those heavy caliber rounds. That too. Jesus. That thing better be worth one hell of an explosion and it is. If only that debris had actual physical force that'd be even more fun. Although, as I remember, there was a certain helicopter that makes me think that it might be otherwise. I won't bother with the other one, because, I mean, I'll come through here anyway to kill stuff. You guys. Ow. Fuck, I need a health kit. That's a technician. Balls. Use some of these frag grenades that would otherwise go to waste. And the video hits as right as the explosion happens. Might as well use it for that. Alright. Let's get right over there though. Good stuff. Now that we've handled all that. Really, I could just use the helicopter at the end, I mean. Makes more sense from an efficiency standpoint. He did it! Of course, Let's that's what war is all about, being efficient, not wasting resources. I wonder if that thing will explode naturally. I don't want to find out. Especially since my allies are coming through here. Regroup here, comrades! Wow, that worked. I'm going around. Right. He's over there. Wow, these guys didn't think very, uh, very long and hard about decision-making progress, did they? You're an elite, but I don't care. Go on, move further into right. the facility, comrades. Oh goodness. The high ground has been turned into a disadvantage with the advent of grapple hook infantry. Like Rico. This guy angers me. Huh. I love kills like that where they just decide. 
Ah, I'm not gonna bother anymore. They just die calmly. Now you're gonna be sorry. Oh fuck yeah! This is what we call a target-rich environment, which I guess makes sense. I mean, you know, chemical depot and all that. Oh, good stuff. Yeah, another upgrade right in my path. Oh goodness. Grenade time. Whoa. Ha! Whoa. The forces of liberty prevail. Now, move on further into All the right. vicinity. Go to the vicinity. Would you? Now the technician almost walks in front of the guy who is actively firing the chain gun. Like, if you are a professional revolutionary and soldier or whatever, you'd think that's rule one they teach you. Mine the field of fire. Whatever. Clear out some of these assholes. Sometimes feel the fire is a little tricky though. Whoa. Keep going, comrades! Revolution! Do we is really only have corner. the one guy left? That's a little disappointing. Sometimes we tend to lose all the rebel guys like that. Oh well, we're not supposed to have the advantage in such a situation. Mounted gun! Scorpio! Take it out! I'll do my best, man. Just keep yourself undercover till I get there. Moving at my own speed. I see the target! No, fuck you. I can outmount and gunner you. I promise that. That's my guarantee. Alright, another chain gun available. And rifle ammo. A lot of rifle ammo. This is the place. Now keep me safe while I hack You're the boss. The system, comrade. At least for this mission. Eat it and oh yeah. Fortunately they're new, we're using the new uh, sandbag piercing armaments. Oh this system is complex! Keep wow, that guy me. back there is pretty screwed. And helicopter time. Well, there goes our last rebel, looks like. Oh no, he's still up. You know, I'd better just jack that, because that'll end the mission. I better do it before the technician gets himself ganked. Balls. Wow, he usually keeps firing on the 360 version. Okay, I am almost done. There we go. Scorpio! 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 I got it! The facility nice. is ours! No, I don't have to care about that technician. Enemy sighted! All available units! Yay me! Target rich environment, everybody? Target rich environment. And the final stronghold is secure and strong. We have now officially ruined Pan Ow. Whoa. New missions for everybody. I'll say it once again. Goody. All these missions look fairly interesting, but we'll worry about that next time. For now, I just want to kill what I can. Well, gee, I think she's trying to tell us something, everybody. Can't quite figure out what yet. I'll have to work my incredible intellect for a while to figure it out. This particular base is a little annoying since government boats often drive right up to you and... Sometimes the SAM sites shoot. 
Sometimes it just gets friggin' annoying. I'm not sure if any of those will hit, so let's... Uh, hurry. Let's see. Man, I missed a lot of stuff, even though I tried. Such marvelous explosions, though. No one can take that away from Just Cause. Or else... They'll get the business, too. Alright. Are those the big targets done? 82%. Looking pretty nice. Just a couple upgrades, probably. I see an upgrade over there. Bonk. Right into the sea. Yeah, try belly flopping like that in real life and see how painless it is. It's like the water negates all effects of physics. I guarantee it. Very pretty sunset to watch as we continue our mad rampage with mad skills. And whatever in God's name that was. Saw it gleaming, yep. Right over here. After that, if I can't find the remaining bits and baubles, then it's not worth it. Nah. Only 88%, everybody. Gotta admit that I don't care that much. Therefore, I'm gonna have to say thank you for watching. Let's play Just Cause 2. I'm Hunter Black Luna, and I'll see you guys next time.